This is what my fifth video on this topic. Man, it is becoming increasingly difficult to keep up with this stuff because there's always so much happening with Blizzard right now with this PR nightmare that they're facing. So, quick recap. Blizzard banned or suspended Blitzchunk from the Grandmasters tournament because he expressed support for the Hong Kong protests and the severity of the punishment went to show that Blizzard didn't suspend Blitzchunk because of following tournament rules. It had definitely more to do with Blizzard's relations with the Chinese market, Chinese corporations, the Chinese government. And so a lot of people saw this as Blizzard bending the knee to China over following what's ethically correct. And that led to a lot of people speaking out. Now, Blizzard issued this statement to Western audiences saying that it was about tournament rules. But then in Chinese social media, Blizzard posted this talking about how they're very angered and disappointed at what happened. And they talked about how they will always respect and defend the pride of China. And so Blizzard employees have protested by covering up these plaques with uh, engravings of values like Think Globally and Every Voice Matters. It looks something like this before, it looks like this now. We've got employees staging walkouts in protest against Blizzard. We've got senators from the Democratic and Republican side of things both speaking out against Blizzard. We've got people in college tournaments holding up signs in support of Hong Kong and uh, calling for the boycotting of Blizzard May. Blizzard's Chinese character in Overwatch has been used as a symbol for the Hong Kong resistance. People like Tim Sweeney, Epic CEO, have called out Blizzard and uh, claimed that they, that Tim Sweeney and Epic wouldn't do this if somebody spoke out and uh, supported human rights in Hong Kong. BMK Gaming, who is a popular caster in the esports and Blizzard scene, spoke out, said that he doesn't condone how far Blizzard took things with Blitzchung. And then there's also the fact that this whole story is making headlines across major news outlets outside of the gaming landscape. So Yahoo Finance, Fox, CNN, you name it. So that's kind of where we're at right now, which brings us to today's story. So the college students from the American University who held up this sign right here, Free Hong Kong Boycott Blizzard, They've, uh, they've made headlines because of what they did, and they've made headlines again recently because they have decided that despite still being in the tournament, they still decided that they would not participate, that they would drop out of the tournament to protest Blizzard's latest actions. So the three players in the American University are Casey Chambers, Corwin Dark, and T. Jammer. And what's particularly noteworthy about uh, their decision to drop out is the reasoning they gave. After they held up the sign, they expected that Blizzard would ban them or suspend them as they did with Blitzchung, but it turns out that Blizzard did not inflict any consequences upon them, which the American University team found hypocritical, and that's why they decided to drop out. So it reads right here. Students from American University confirmed to U.S. Gamer that they received their scheduled match for the week from TESPA, the collegiate organizing body partnered with Blizzard. However, they say they plan to forfeit and no longer compete in TESPA or play Blizzard games. And then here's a quote from the team. We feel it's hypocritical for Blizzard to punish Blitzchung, but not us. The response from Blizzard shows that as soon as the messaging is out of the view of China, they don't care about political messaging. So indeed, this could all be seen as Blizzard having double standards, where if you're in America and saying stuff in this country, then Blizzard will just uh, overlook whatever political message you might have to say in regards to Hong Kong or China. But if you're in a tournament in China or Taiwan or any of these regions, or maybe if you're a Hong Kong player, and in that scenario, if you speak out against China or support Hong Kong protests, then you get banned. So there is an inconsistency here. You know, this is a lose-lose situation that Blizzard put themselves in. If they were to ban these students, the perception would be that Blizzard is doubling down on censoring discussions surrounding Hong Kong protests. And then if they decided to not ban the 
uh, U.S. collegiate students, which is what actually happened, then that would be perceived as hypocritical. And the only way for Blizzard to get out of this situation is to undo the suspension of Blitzchung and keep things consistent. If they're not going to ban these U.S. college students for doing the same thing as Blitzchung did, then Blitzchung shouldn't be banned either. That goes without saying. But the inconsistency, the hypocritical nature of this whole situation really isn't painting a pretty picture for Blizzard's values and principles as an American company. This is another player from the American University team who posted the following on Reddit to further elaborate on the team's stance. So this reads, American University player here, we aren't being punished for the free Hong Kong sign and why that matters. Hi Reddit, I am a player on the team that protested on stream Tuesday. Mods can DM me for proof. I am making this post because we received no retribution for our actions. Tespa kept us in the tournament and gave us another match. This shows Blizzard's hypocrisy in how it treats different regions. They are hesitant to suppress free speech when it happens in America on an English language stream, but will throw casters and players live livelihoods under the bus if they are from Hong Kong or Taiwan. It should also dispel the idea that Blitzchung was punished for bringing politics into Hearthstone because our message was clearly political and we weren't touched. Blitzchung was punished because China was watching. To clarify one point, our protest was in no way comparable to Blitzchung. He and all Hong Kongers are putting so much more on the line than we did. Unlike him, we also suggested boycotting Blizzard. While his message was purely in support of human rights, yet he is the one Blizzard targeted. It just doesn't make sense when you think about it for Blitzchung to be treated so much more severely while the U.S. college players get no penalty whatsoever despite the U.S. players saying all this stuff that not only lines up with what Blitzchung said but goes even further by calling for boycotting Blizzard. This post continued, this update matters because it suggests Blizzard doesn't want to enforce censorship in front of a Western audience. Yet, I'd be curious to see how they would react if every stream had Free Hong Kong appear on the cams. Could they continue to ignore the outcry of their entire community, or would they get a call from Tencent about the content they were broadcasting? Statements like Amnesiacs, which force Blizzard to respond, are exactly what is needed to pressure them. So Amnesiac is another pro player, and I'll get to his statement in a bit. In sum, there doesn't seem to be any punishment for supporting Hong Kong on stream, and it would be very inconvenient for Blizzard if we did. They can't keep the cams off forever, especially at BlizzCon. Yeah, the player here definitely made some great points and highlighted the double standard on Blizzard's part, and further highlighting that is what I showed you before, the two statements that Blizzard provided. For Western audiences, they claim that it's all about tournament rules, but... In Chinese social media, they actually expressed how angered and disappointed they were at what happened and how they will prioritize respecting and defending the pride of China. So this inconsistency right here matches the inconsistency of what's going on here where Blitzchung is punished far more harshly than the American college players, despite both doing pretty much the same thing. Arguably, the American college students took it even a step further than Blitzchung did by speaking out against Blizzard itself. Moving on, I'd like to highlight some statements and responses that Hearthstone Pro players, streamers, and casters have provided about this whole situation. And all of this was inspired by BMK Gaming speaking out, which caused the ripple effect that resulted in other people within the Hearthstone streaming and casting landscape sharing their own sentiments. First up, we have William Barton, known as Amnesiac in the Hearthstone esports scene, and he said this, Last weekend, one of my fellow Grandmaster League competitors, Blitzchung, was removed from the Grandmaster League, stripped of his Season 2 earnings, and banned from competitive play for one year over statements he made in support of the pro-democracy protests in Hong Kong. As a player in the Grandmaster League, I support democracy, free speech, and the right of people in Hong Kong and around the world to assemble and protest, and I do not support Blizzard or anyone else playing a role in the silencing 
understanding of these views. I recognize that my decision to speak up may have consequences, but I believe it's important to stand for what you think is right and stand for the rights of others when they can't necessarily do so themselves. I love Hearthstone and competing in Grandmasters, and it is a huge part of my life, but there are some principles that are worth fighting for. I hope Blizzard will reconsider their position and apply the principles reflected in their own mission statement. And this right here quotes the values that Blizzard presents at Blizzard HQ. This is the statue that can be found inside the building, and turns out there is more to Every Voice Matters than just that phrase alone. There is further elaboration on Blizzard's part in terms of what that phrase means, what that mission statement means. So this reads, Every Voice Matters. This is from Blizzard. Great ideas can come from anywhere. Blizzard Entertainment is what it is today because of the voices of our players and each member of our company. Every employee is encouraged to speak up, listen, be respectful of other opinions, and embrace criticism as just another avenue for great ideas. Oh, the hypocrisy. And then there is another one here that reads, Think globally, and that mission statement reads, Everywhere on the planet, there are people who play Blizzard Entertainment games. While respecting the cultural diversity that makes people unique, we strive to grow and support our global gaming community. We also seek the most passionate, talented people in the world to enrich our company and help us forge the future vision of Blizzard. Yeah, given what's been happening over the last week, these mission statements mean absolutely nothing because they can be so easily compromised as soon as money gets involved. So yeah, this is something of an awkward position for Blizzard. Next up, we have this streamer, Kriparian, who spoke out with the following statement. You guys know me for a decade now. You know I generally don't get into serious non-gaming issues on stream, YouTube, or socials. This isn't because I don't have opinions. It is because I try to create chill and entertaining content and give you guys a place to relax and feel comfortable. With that said, I want to be clear that I support those protesting in Hong Kong. With such a large part of their country pushing for change, they are and deserve to be on the right side of history. I haven't been involved with competitive esports Hearthstone for years now, but Hearthstone for me is much more than their esports division and their recent poor decision making. I invite Blizzard to reconsider their position. Sure, they are in the entertainment space, so they want to keep anything that isn't about Hearthstone out of their official broadcast, but the penalty on Blitzchunk and the caster seems just too over the top. All of us who have spent the best part of our lives on Battle.net expect better out of Blizzard. So to emphasize again how far Blizzard went with their punishment against Blitzchunk and the two casters who were present, it feels like how China would punish someone for saying something that is contrary to the Chinese government's goals, rather than how an American gaming company seeking to enforce tournament regulations would act. Next up, we have a statement from Admirable, who is another well-known caster in the esports and Blizzard landscape. His full statement, inspired by BMK Gaming, reads as follows. I will not be part of the broadcast team for Hearthstone for the remainder of the Grandmaster season, for the Masters Tour in Bucharest, or for BlizzCon. Blitzchung's actions to support Hong Kong speak to me far more than I could have imagined. It takes courage to stand up for what you believe in, and to make sacrifices in the process. His actions are inspiring to me, and I support him wholeheartedly. Brian Kibler released a statement that pretty much hits the nail on the head. It's hard to add much more to this, and I agree with Brian's stance on this matter. In Brian's closing thoughts, he said, However, I want to make clear that not everyone involved in GM has this luxury to take a stance and end their involvement in Grandmasters. Do not take your anger out on the other casters or streamers or employees of Blizzard. This is not the kind of decision that comes from the rank and file. Most likely, they're just as angry as you are. I know I am. He's not wrong. For me, this is a large part of my livelihood. This is my passion. This pursuit has been my life, and I'm lucky that I've been able to make it a career. But I cannot compromise my conviction without change that would convince me that Blizzard will uphold their core value, every voice matters. I cannot continue casting the game. Hearthstone and games have taught me a lot of valuable lessons, and so in summary, here's how I can best describe it. In Hearthstone, good strategic play involves making the right choice, even if that choice will sometimes cost you. You think about the range of possibilities from the other side. With the hand you're dealt, you make the best choice you can, even if the foreseeable outcomes hurt. That doesn't mean you should make worse choices. It means do the right thing, even if you pay the price. 
Now, beyond pro players, casters, and streamers, also speaking out are coaches within esports. So this man right here, Jane, he is a coach for one of the Overwatch League teams, and he tweeted out the following on October 9th. While I recognize the right that Blizzard Entertainment has to enforce their rules and standards on competitors such as Blitzchung, I condemn the censorship and severity of consequences brought against an individual who was campaigning for a human rights social movement. Now, what makes this case particularly special is that Jane was seemingly directed to delete this tweet by his higher-ups. So it reads right here, according to an article from news outlet Dallas News, quote, Dallas Fuel assistant coach Justin Jane Conroy said Wednesday that he was directed to delete a tweet that was critical of punishment levied by Activision Blizzard on a Hearthstone player who voiced his support for Hong Kong's pro-democracy protest movement. Jane, via Twitter direct messaging, declined further comment. Activision Blizzard and Envy Gaming, owner of Overwatch League franchise Dallas Fuel did not immediately respond to request for comment. So yeah, full damage control, full censorship mode on Activision Blizzard's part. But once something's up on the internet, it's archived forever. This Twitter user took a screenshot of it so people can see what he tweeted out. Deleting it doesn't really make a difference. In fact, deleting it only draws more attention to this. This brings us to the community side of things and an update on what's going on there. So Blizzard is in hot waters right now for essentially censorship, and it would seem as though they're kind of doubling down on that in the Blizzard forum. So right here, a Redditor talked about how one of their posts expressing support for the liberation of Hong Kong was removed from the forums within seconds. And then we're seeing reports of people getting banned for a thousand years for posting anything Hong Kong related. So here is a screenshot right here of that. Your account is unable to post or reply until October 10th, 3019. Wow. Yeah, talk about taking things to an unnecessary extreme, which is, I guess, on brand, given how Blizzard reacted to Blitzchung's statement and how severely they punished Blitzchung. One last thing I'd like to highlight before closing this video out is this article by news outlet Vice, who talked to a Blizzard employee who discussed what's going on behind the scenes and what they described as deafening silence on Activision Blizzard's part. The higher-ups were supposed to issue some kind of statement to the employees addressing this whole debacle, but they have gotten no word yet, and so a lot of concerns are brewing within the company. So this is what one employee told Vice. This quote reads, The internal silence is deafening. Besides two brief I'm listening emails from our president, we have heard nothing of substance. No one is helping us process what this means for us as a company, as individuals, or is identifying a path forward. No one has been told what to say or do in the aftermath of a legal yet insupportable decision. And then Vice added here, the company's president had planned to send out a video addressing the controversy, but it was delayed, the employee said. As of the time of this writing, the video still hasn't been sent around. A second Blizzard employee confirmed they are expecting a video from the company. And that employee said, no one in charge I know of has spoken to the throng of employees gathered daily around the orc. So what this Blizzard employee is referring to here is the walkouts that Blizzard staff have been staging in protest. Here's a photo of one such occasion. So you can see a bunch of Blizzard employees gathered around this orc statue. And what's interesting about what this Blizzard employee is saying is that these protests, these walkouts are taking place on a daily basis. So it's not just a one-time done deal. It's something that's continuously happening within Blizzard and probably something that will keep happening until Activision Blizzard, the higher-ups say something encouraging. Here's another quote expressing discontent at the present situation. This reads, quote, in a year of corporate trauma, this is yet another wound that will take years to recover from. We have had crisis after crisis this year thrust upon us with little or no warning. It was already difficult to hire, but now people with offers in hand have spurned us because they disagree with our decision. It's pulling our teams apart at the seams and making it so difficult to feel safe 
let alone enjoy my job. Some of us are afraid to go to work now because our fans and employees are angry and want answers I don't have and I shouldn't have to give. I'm afraid that as people leave us in droves, my job will disappear in another round of layoffs. I'm sure most around me wonder the same thing. I want to be principled and join the brave folks standing outside our gates or around the orc, but I also know how hard it is to get a job I loved as much as this one. I still love my project. I love my co-workers. My love and respect for Blizzard is diminished. So it seems to me as though this specific employee is high enough in the Blizzard food chain that he does have people working under him and they're going to him asking questions that he doesn't have answers to, but he isn't so high up in the food chain that he has answers that he can provide and he's stuck in this awkward position in between the higher ups the corporates the executives and the ground floor staff and developers he doesn't know what to do and that just sucks to be in that position this employee then concluded by stating quote we are damned if we don't take a stand we'll have lost a lot of support from fans outside of china we're damned if we do you can't keep the lights on when we lose income from china and others more hungry swoop in to take our place even if i did leave where would i go that's not beholden to access or income from china today or tomorrow change can only happen if consumers across the spectrum take a hard look at what we have poured our cash into supporting if we want to make a real difference and stop this cycle of appeasement. So as Activision Blizzard continues to remain silent, we are hearing more and more from pro players, streamers, casters, coaches, Blizzard employees. All Blizzard has said to the outside world is that they're currently assessing the situation. This is apparently what Blizzard told Engadget when the outlet reached out to the company. But as it says right here, otherwise, the company hasn't spoken up about the issue since posting its decision to ban Chung on October 8th. It's bad enough that Activision Blizzard hasn't said anything yet, but what makes matters worse is that they're going out of their way to shut down discussion in certain forums like Reddit, where people's posts are being removed when they express support for Hong Kong. In some cases, people are being banned for a thousand years. We're seeing people like coaches who are more directly tied to Activision Blizzard being censored outright, being told to delete tweets and stay quiet. Activision Blizzard doesn't seem to understand that not doing anything about a forest fire won't just make it go away. It's going to continue doing irreparable damage. And instead of pouring water on the fire, Activision Blizzard seems intent on just pouring gasoline. So yeah, there you have it, folks. Another update surrounding current events regarding Activision Blizzard's PR nightmare. And just a compilation of things that have happened recently that I hope you guys will find useful for those who are planning to stay up to date with this story. Let me know in the comments below what your take is on everything that's been said recently. And to be further updated on all things gaming news, reviews, and discussions, stay tuned right here on Yong Yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Yong out.